Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. I'm Vineet and this is the second video in the series of videos on Linux terms. And in today's video, we'll cover a few more basic terms used very often in Linux terminology. We'll understand the term upstream, downstream and the term fork and find out how it is different from the word derivative. All right. So with that said, let's begin today's video. All right, first let's talk about upstream. Now I'm sure you're aware of the general meaning of the word upstream, which is the direction against the flow of water. And downstream is the direction towards the flow of water. Now the upstream in Linux terminology actually has the same connotation. If you have seen my previous video, then by now you must be aware that Linux distribution is actually Linux kernel and collection of software packages. So if we have to graphically depict this in a form of a river, then software developer or people who develop software would be right at the top, the originator of this river, um, a Linux distribution, for example, Debian could be somewhere down and it's derivative like Ubuntu will be somewhere further down. Now, if we are talking about Debian and say, for example, they find a bug in one of its software packages, say Firefox browser, then they would report the bug upstream. And what we mean is that they would report the bug to the developer of Firefox. However, in case of Ubuntu, the upstream could mean Debian or a software developer for other non-Debian software. As you must be aware, Ubuntu also uses packages from PPA repository. So the software could be a non Debian software. So it depends a lot on the context uh, where the term is used. And similarly, downstream in the case of Debian would be Ubuntu. And if Debian has received a patch for one of its software from upstream, then it will send the patch downstream. That means it will send the patch to Ubuntu. All right, now let's talk about the term fork. Now the word fork as a verb means to divide into two parts. Now fork is also a system call used in Linux kernel, which actually creates a duplicate process. But in terms of software, as per Wikipedia, fork happens when developer copies the source code of a software and start independent development on it, creating a distinct and separate piece of software. Now the next line is also very important. The term often implies not merely a development branch, but a split in the developer community, a form of schism. Examples of fork would be Mate desktop environment, uh, which is a fork of GNOME 2. Similarly, Cinnamon desktop environment of Linux Mint is a fork of GNOME shell. Now, I think fork is pretty much clear to you. Very, very simple to understand. But there's another term which is very close to the meaning of fork and sometimes get quite confusing is the word derivative. Now a derivative also means taking the software code or packages and making a completely new software. For example, Ubuntu is a derivative of Debian or is it? Well, it is a derivative and some people may debate on that, but though the two words means almost the same, but if we go by the definition of fork, it involves a schism, which is a split in the developer community and has a negative connotation. To make this more clear, I would like to refer to an old but great paper written by Benjamin McOhill, which goes by the title to fork or not to fork. Now he talks about fork in detail and writes, there have been a number of famous forks in free software history. One of the most famous was the schism that led to the parallel development of two versions of Emacs text editor, GNU Emacs and X Emacs. Now, as you can see, there is a negative feeling like there has been a division in developers community, disagreement of developers. You have that kind of feeling. A derivative, however, does not involve any schism and does not have a negative connotation or negative sense. In fact, Ubuntu, which is a derivative of Debian, uses the unstable repo of Debian. If it finds a bug and creates a patch for it, it also sends the patch upstream to Debian. So it's more of a constructive partnership. In his paper, he further quotes one of the prominent Debian developer, Scott James Remnant, who says, I don't think Ubuntu is a fork of Debian, at least not in the traditional sense. 
a fork suggests that at some point we go our separate way from Debian and then occasionally merge and changes as we carry on down on path. So that is the difference between fork and the word derivative. So there you go guys. I hope now you're clear with the meaning of these terms. It's very important to get the basics right and that's the motto of these series of videos. So that's all for today guys. Thank you for watching this video. Huge shout out to all the subscribers of XPS Tech channel. And if you like this video, kindly press the like button. If you have any comment or suggestion, do type that in, in the comment box. Thank you again for watching this and I'll see you next time.